welcome back to another week of Two Steve's Review. This is Steve 1. This is Steve 2 and this week we are reviewing the Skeleton Key. Okay, we're going to change things up a little bit are this we? week, Steve. Ooh. Uh, Ooh. We don't really know actors or directors, so uh, we're just going to go on basic horror film plot line. <laughs> well, the, the plot, I, w I would say it's more of a mind fuck. But it it starts off slow, then it gets into it, and then it keep it does keep you hanging on the end of your sofa. It's like, where's it gonna go? Who's gonna do this? And it's just a pure mindfuck. And then it just keeps you guessing from there. But if, say for instance, you have to go get a drink or anything and you lose track, you come back and it's like, what the fuck's happened here? What's happened? You just lose yourself. From here you've got the creepy house, you've <laughs> got you've got the uh, girl that goes to look after the elderly couple and um, weird things sort of happen on this one, don't they well, Steve? Yeah, it's because she, she gets a key to the house, but this key opens every single door in the house. Hmm. I love skeleton keys, yeah, right? If I had a skeleton key myself, yeah, right? I'd just hop over to anybody's moped and just go, Vroom, vroom, g'dywing, g'dywing, wah! I would seriously run off with a Bugatti Veyron. If I had a skeleton key, I'm telling you that now. No, oh, that'd be beautiful. I'm gone. See ya. I'm gone. <laughs> Off. I, 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 I ain't in this country no more. So we're not trying to reveal too much of the plot on this film. So Steve, I would love to, but I can't. Steve, come on. All right, and I know you got that little tick in the back of your neck. <laughs> I know you want to do it. I know you want to do it. Okay. What are you gonna give it? I'm gonna give it a seven. Seven? Yeah. Very appreciated, good sir. What are you gonna give it? I am actually gonna give this film a seven on top as well, due down to its pacing. Um, Steve did admit you did say it was a little bit slow, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, I did say it was a bit slow, but after about thirty, forty minutes. I got intrigued. I was like going, eh, I think it's this person, that person, this is going to do that, that's going to do that. So It's a bit more of a who done it. Yeah. In a way, it, really. I would say it's like sort of Cluder. Who did it, with what weapon, in what room sort of thing. I would say that it was Steve, yeah, right, in the boardroom with a 15 inch black rubber cock. You day bastard. Why do you have to always go there? Well, all uh, right. That that that's for behind closed doors, mate. You, I, you, you shouldn't let this out on camera, mate. Yeah, it's I, behind closed doors. But it's your weapon of choice. Yeah, but you know you're gonna get beaten up later with it because you've just said it on camera. Yeah. Save me. Save me now. Don't help him. Don't help. Okay, so we're going to wrap things up for today. This is Steve 1. <laughs> this is Steve 2. And hopefully to see you next week. <laughs> this is going to fucking... <laughs> You're doing good. You're doing good. <laughs> Three, two, one, back in the room. Alright. So what about your mum? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's fine mate, she's fine, she's alright, yeah. My mum's fine, yeah. Good. Yeah. Alright, so what about your mum?